Grade 8 Math, number 8.4D, Elimination Method Using a Table with a Word Problem. In some linear systems, neither variable can be eliminated by adding or subtracting, so we multiply one or both equations by a constant, so adding or subtracting will eliminate a variable. Now, we're not going to do that this time, but we could multiply each equation by a completely different number if that is how we can create a zero pair. Just remember that coefficients that are multiples of each other are best to eliminate first. And it doesn't matter if, what you multiply it by. If we multiply these equations, this equation by a 2, that'll bring that 2x up to a 4x. If we multiply this equation that has the 3x by a 5, that'll bring it up to the 15x for that equation. See? So if these are the values in the equations, multiples are the best to eliminate first, okay? So here's our word problem. Tala has 169 yards of blue fabric and 95 yards of white fabric. She needs five yards of blue and three yards of white to make one adult size evening dress. She needs four yards of blue and two yards of white to make a junior size evening dress. So how many adult size and junior size evening dresses can she make if all the fabric is used? So, the first thing we do is we think. Let's put the information in a table. That way it's organized, okay? So, we know that she's got 169 yards of blue. So, we put a column for fabric, and we put the blue fabric and the white fabric. At the end of the blue fabric, we put the total of 169 yards. We know she's got 95 of white, so at the end of the white one, we put the 95, because we know this is going to be our totals, our equal. So that's why we're putting them at the end. Now, the columns that we need to make are adult size and junior size, because those are the other two things that are offered in the word problem. And it says five yards of blue and three of white for the adult size. So that's five and three, and four yards of blue and two yards of white for the junior size. So we're going to let A equal adult, because that makes sense. It starts with an A, doesn't it? And we're going to let J be the junior, because it starts with a J. All right, now we can write our equations from the table. We've got 5a, and this is going to be plus 4j equals 169, and 3a plus 2j equals 95. So the first thing I notice is this 4j and this 2j, if we multiply this second equation by a 2 for every term, we can raise this equation up so that they both have a 4j then we could subtract. So it becomes 2 times 3 is 6a, and 2 times 2 is 4j, and 2 times 95 is 190. Now that's our new second equation. So now we put together our first and second equation together to subtract. Okay, so we're going to subtract. 5a take away a 6a is a negative 1a. 4j take away 4j is 0j. See? So we really don't need to write it. And 169 take away 190 puts us at negative 21. Now, as we always do, we need to divide each side by this negative 1 to get the A by itself. And we do, and we get our friend, the invisible 1. And because they're both negative, it becomes a positive. And negative 21 divided by negative 1 is positive 21, because it's two negatives. So now we can use 21 for A in an original equation to solve for J. So I chose the top one, 5A plus 4J equals 169. So now instead of A, I'm going to put the 21 in. 5 times 21 is 105. 5 times 20 is 100. And 5 times 1 is 5, so it's 105 plus the 4j equals 169. Now, we can subtract 105 from each side, and that'll create a zero pair here, and that'll get the 4j by itself, and 169 take away 105 is 64, 4j equals 64. We divide both sides by 4, because this is multiplication, so the inverse would be division, and 4 divided by 4 is our friend the invisible 1, and 64 divided by 4 is 16. Now we know that J is 16, and we know our solution set is 21 and 16.
So it's 21 for A, adult size dresses, and 16 for J, the junior size dresses. We can plug these numbers into the original equation up here, into the original system of equations, to check them to make sure they're right. So do you see how I put the information into a table and it helped me organize it to write my system of equations? It's helpful when it's confusing. You don't have to do that, but it could help you, okay? And just remember that you can multiply one equation to raise it up to the other one, so one term can be eliminated, or you can multiply both equations by a different number, okay? All right, we'll see you next video, and I hope this was helpful, and keep trying, keep trying. I'm sticking with you. We can do this. Bye.